here I am, preparing for a cruise, right? all day preparing, charging up the batteries, getting my slaps on deck, maybe that's what the kids say. Oh, yeah. And I take it out, and first time I hit the switch, it's just, it's real tired. Sounds like it's just been in a hopping competition for the last three hours. And, uh, which is weird because my stupid batteries have been charging for about six hours. And I thought maybe one of the motors was burnt up again because last time I took it out, I hopped it at work and blew out the seal on the dump, sprayed oil basically all over everything. There's a little bit of residue there. So I thought maybe I damaged something, but both pumps sounded really low. Anyway, that's your problem right there. Battery charger isn't charging. Really stupid. Because, okay, this is the fuse that goes in it. Listen to it. It still buzzes like it's charging. So. If you got one of those cheap battery chargers, be aware of that because it'll still buzz like it's working and everything's fine, but it won't actually put out any current. Um, the only way I found out was, well, one, I put my multimeter on the ends of the clamps and it said no current. Then I tested just another a single battery charger that I have and it has current, so... And then I resistance tested the fuse to make sure it's bad because for some reason they put a white fuse in there. I've heard that they're ceramic fuses, better quality, blah, 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 blah. I don't, obviously they're not great quality because they're blowing. But I guess a good way to make sure you don't blow your fuse in the future is to clamp your battery charger on your battery first and then turn it on I think I do that but I'm gonna make sure I do that so I'm, I'm hopping in the turbo stallion here I'm gonna go to the parts store see if I've got a fuse oh yeah oh yeah there it is horsepowers New fuse install. There we go. Eleven point eight. That's good. That means it's putting out something. All right. Shut that sucker down. Hook up all my batteries again. Figure out this wiring cluster. Let it charge. There she is. 
charger just wasn't working. Easy fix. Pumps feel good, they sound good. I'm happy. Pretty easy fix, really. And I'm just trying to cruise around a little bit and not break anything. Getting real sick of it. Be nice to move on to something else instead of just fixing stuff that I keep breaking. I forgot I don't have windshield wipers still. So yeah, next up is going to be the third pump. Still haven't decided who I'm going to order it from. We'll figure it out, Black Magic or Hoppos. I think I'm more leaning towards dealing with Black Magic one more time just to get the same third pump. Kind of wish I didn't order my stuff from them. But it seems to work pretty well. I mean, once you get it, it works good. They're just dealing with them. This last few emails I've had with the guy, though, he's been all right. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be such a big deal like everything else was. He says everything's in stock, so that should help. Pro tip for you non-lowriders out there. If you see a lowrider driving, don't pull up to him while they're doing 50 miles an hour and scream, make it hop. I mean, some of them might do it, but not me. Not on these streets. These streets are kind of rough. I'm doing all I can just to keep this thing in my lane at 50 miles an hour, so I'm definitely not going to get this thing in the air. And for two, I get this thing in the air, come down, break a ball joint. Are you going to follow me back to my house and help me fix it? I don't think so. I think it's cool that people get excited to see it, but if you do ask somebody to make it hop, don't get disappointed when it doesn't happen. I just passed a sheriff in this thing. Doing about 50 and a 45. Not too speedy, but a little speedy. But driving this car, if I was 10 years younger, definitely would have got pulled over. I seen him moving as soon as I got to where I could see him. He started moving, I'm thinking, oh crap, here it comes. He turned the other way. Does this face look like a criminal? Must not. That must look like a law-abiding person with this face. Which I guess is good. But man, 10 years ago, I'd have been pulled over in a heartbeat. I'd have been pulled over doing five under the speed limit in this car weird i must look old he is he's following me i faked him out I'm going to popeyes can't do nothing illegal at popeyes see how did that car look more suspect than me I'm kind of offended actually good cruise. Nothing broke. Nothing acted funny. I hit the switch twice. Maybe that's why nothing broke. But just to think, yesterday I was going to sell this thing for a pack of gum and one Twizzler. Glad I didn't do that. I'd probably take two Twizzlers though. A pack of gum and two Twizzlers.